we did have a very large salon. We also had a couple of schools. But when my family salon was in process of going from just hair into aesthetics, I was in high school and I said to a girlfriend of mine, okay, so I just read that you can get wax and muslin and remove hair. And we actually went and got canning paraffin and went to the fabric store and got muslin. And in case you've ever tried it, it really only sticks to your skin. It doesn't stick to hair, it doesn't stick to the fabric. It's very hot when it's liquid, so that was my first experience. And then as life went on and I became an educator and I got into doing this, and then the Brazilians came out, then I knew that I was going to be teaching the U.S. how to wax Brazilians, so of course the first one was on myself. It's a good thing I'm flexible. But um, today it's really all about speed wax techniques or advanced speed wax techniques, about getting the job done quickly. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to go through the theory of wax and the things that you do as a professional. Because to me, there's so much more than just putting the wax on and ripping the hair off. It's really understanding that how many reactions are normal, how to educate your customer. You can't prevent them. You know, when you see products out there that say they are um, hypoallergenic and they have these ingredients and those ingredients in them, there's no such thing. Mostly people respond to the service itself, not to the product. And it's almost impossible to have a non-reactive waxing business. You're ripping hair out of people's bodies. You can feel it, so there's no such thing as painless waxing. You know, I've, for years I would have somebody say, I'm looking for a wax that doesn't hurt. Well, keep looking. You're ripping hair out of people's bodies. It's just not going to happen. So I'd like to go through, in a couple of different ways, how to really educate the customer because to me, educating the customer is key to building a great clientele, particularly in an aggressive service. And I do consider waxing to be an aggressive service. It exfoliates the skin, it pulls the hair out of the body. You do it wrong, then you bruise people, you take off too much skin and things like that. So let's start with client questions. And there are three basic client questions. One. Does it hurt? It depends on how evil I'm feeling and whether or not I tell the, oh, it feels really good to have your hair collectively pulled out by the root. Um, will it make the hair grow back thicker, stronger, darker? All, always one of my favorite questions. And then how long does it last? So let's take the first one, does it hurt? It hurts the most the first time. There's two primary reasons for this. It is shocking to have your hair collectively pulled out by the root and you're pulling out the most hair, as long as you, the professional, are doing your job and educating the customer that they actually need to come back every four weeks, okay? So it's pulling out the most hair. When you put the wax on and you take that strip off, then you're pulling out hair all at once. So the first time it is the most surprising. But one of the things I have seen, welcome everybody that just came in. One of the things that I have seen is that the professional hasn't educated the customer really, really clearly about all of the normal responses. And for me, what I do when I'm doing my consultation is I go through exactly all of the things that can, may, will, and are norm normal to happen. So today, my demo is going to be on legs. Well, the biggest thing about leg waxing is that when you first start to get your legs waxed, they're not smooth. And it is critical that your customer understands that their legs aren't going to be smooth before they start waxing. Because to me, there's nothing worse than waxing somebody's legs and, you know, you can see all the hair is gone and yay. And they feel their legs and they're still kind of stubbly. Well, that's really normal, though, when you first start waxing legs. They're not going to be smooth for three or four appointments four weeks apart. So definitely, as far as educating the customer initially, like before you start waxing them, to me is always critical. It's very, very common for the upper lip, back, and chest to break out. It's unusual for those body parts to not have some kind of reaction. So to not tell your customer before you start waxing them that they'll probably get some pimples on their upper lip 
is not the right time to tell them after. And it's very, very common for them to get a breakout. So there's something that I do when I am doing my consultation and I really take care of all of my retail. I have two things in particular that I do for retail. For body waxing from the neck down, I have a little package that I put together and it is liquid soap and pumice gloves and instructions for waxing. So when you're talking about body waxing, the hair comes out easier, it comes out better, and it doesn't get ingrown as much if you are exfoliating your skin on a regular basis. So bar soap leaves a film, no more bar soap, and the gloves help exfoliate. So liquid soap, rinse is better bar soap than bar soap, and then the pumice gloves helps exfoliate. So this is my intake form. Now I have noticed, something's going on. I have noticed um, in the States we are a lot less detailed. My God, what is going on? Oh, oh okay, okay. Shall we sing? Okay. So um, this is my intake form, and this is actually from my salon that I no longer have. But when I have a customer come in, and it doesn't even matter if it's just for eyebrows, I do a whole intake form. And the shaded area, I have welcome, hug, welcome, kiss, 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 come in. I give them this, and I have them fill out just the shaded area. And then I take it back, and I sit down with them. And I have two things. One is for body waxing. And the other, which I don't have here with me, is a breakout lotion. It's called Clear It Blemish Control, but it is specifically to get rid of breakouts regardless of the origin of that reaction, whether it's from acne, uh, menstrual cycle, or waxing, it doesn't really matter. So it is for blemishes. So when I sit down with the customer, I always have my retail within hand's reach and I say, it's so nice to meet you, and you're out here. Okay, good. What body part are we waxing today? And they'll say, we're doing my legs. Okay, great. Then you'll need to take this home today. This is how I do my retail. Can we do my face as well? Absolutely. Then you'll need to take this home. So before we even go into the room to do the waxing, it is already understood what they need to take home. I really always feel very, very strongly that retailing to the customer supports our professionalism and that it takes care of their stuff, whatever it is, hair, skin, body, or nails, whatever your s service you're providing, if you're not taking care of them at home, then I think you're actually only doing half of your job and on top of that, you're only realizing half of your income. I mean, for me, true aesthetics, skincare treatments, 50% of your income should come from retailing. And if you're doing treatments and sending your customers off to experience whatever they're going to experience without your support, I think you're kind of blowing it for what you could be doing. And for me, it's no different than the dentist. You brush and floss every day and then you go and get your teeth cleaned. So I take care of my retail like that right at the very beginning. So when we walk in the room, it's a done deal. Okay. Uh, when did you last shave? For me, I like three weeks outgrowth. Three weeks. I don't ever do a measurement. I know there are lots of people that say, you know, quarter of a millimeter, whatever, whatever. I like three weeks outgrowth because for me, two weeks, we have about 50 or 60 percent of the people that are ready, and then the other 40 is not. And nothing is worse than having somebody come in that's been growing it for three weeks that thinks they're an absolute beast and you look at their legs and say, oh, it's too short, it's not going to come out yet. Not happy, so I like three weeks. Um, how often do you shave? I just like to get into their world and ask them some questions. When you have an everyday shaver, it, again, it is critical that they really understand their legs are not going to be smooth when you first start waxing them. And in fact, they're not allowed to leave you today and go home and shave or use some kind of depilation cream or anything. And that they understand the process. The short term goal is to get all of the hairs pulled out by the root of the three stages 